Thank you so much for asking me this question. I actually really enjoy talking about the daughter that I lost. Um, bereaved parents don't really get a chance very often to talk about their children, especially when it's a pregnancy loss. It's so taboo. And like literally any chance that I have to mention her name makes my heart so happy. So thank you for asking about her. I got her fatal diagnosis when I was four or five months pregnant. And as expected, I was devastated. I kept thinking, why couldn't I have just gotten pregnant the month before or the month after? Because then theoretically, like this baby would be healthy and they would be living. But I realized one day that then it wouldn't be this baby. This baby that I know I had been waiting for my entire life. I wouldn't be having her. I would be having another baby. And I realized I was just wishing her away. And I knew that when I signed up for motherhood, I, I just signed up for motherhood. I didn't sign up for easy motherhood. And sometimes motherhood's fucking hard. Sometimes mothers bury their children. I realized that day that I was heavily in my victim energy. And I wasn't a victim. I was a mother. And I just enjoyed her. For the rest of forever. I was so happy to be pregnant. What a blessing. What a blessing. I was pregnant. I was going to have a baby. She wasn't going to live. But she made me a mother. The day that I made that decision to stop wishing her away, that was the day that I chose to ascend. My soul had planned that. And I didn't realize all of that eight years ago when all of this happened. But there was another past life that I had had where... I lost a baby in a similar fashion. It was, it was actually kind of my own fault. And when I, I lost that baby, I chose sadness. I chose fear. I chose disconnection. I disconnected from myself, from source, from everything. And I chose in this lifetime to lose another child to give myself an opportunity to choose love. And that's what I did. I, I can't really quantify or put into words the profound love that Kennedy brought into my life and that she continues to bring every day. But it's like the crux of the human experience, the yin and yang, that one of the most sad and like profoundly devastating experiences you can have is an opportunity for the most profound and incredible love that you can ever experience too. It's just a choice. And I will be forever grateful to Kennedy for giving me that choice.